Hello friends, welcome to Export Import Learning Channel. And today in this session, we will cover some important topic like a handling end-to-end -end invoicing auditing for the clearance activity. Okay. So another activity is managing the financial support on the cost incurred with the relevant information to respective stakeholder. Next is should have strong interpersonal and communication skill. Should be competent in analytic skill to deliver analysis on the ongoing operations. Okay, so we will cover this point. Uh, these are the, uh, you can understand that this current time export and, into, uh, export and import business is booming sector. So we are trying to give you knowledge, best knowledge for you. So if you watch this video carefully, so definitely you gain some knowledge from this video. Okay. So here, first, the point is, you can see on the screen. Okay, so point is handling end to end invoicing auditing for clearance activity. Okay, so for clearance activities, uh, what we have to prepare when our goods are in process of examination. We have to prepare commercial invoice and packing list. Okay. So what is meaning of end to end invoicing? End to end means the starting from seller factory to the de destination. Okay. So this is the process of end to end delivery. Okay. In the same way, what is use of the commercial invoice as the end and end to end process. So what invoice we prepare at the starting of the initialize initiate the shipment like a dispatch time and what in, invoice we use for the banking purpose for payment receiving from overseas okay okay so this is important thing other than things uh, just like a if we are preparing the commercial invoice as per custom client activity then we need to prepare as per the required by the custom okay but in case of uh, once our shipment reach at the port of loading, okay, here. Uh, so before that, uh, custom gear exam is done and then read in the port, C port. So after this process, this shipment will uh, board on the ship, okay. So what uh, shipping company will provide as the bill of lading, okay. So uh, that bill of lading is very, very important. Like uh, we need to uh, send this bill of lading to the uh, bank okay so some other document also you need to prepare with bill of lading as per asked by the bank just like invoice okay packing list certificate of origin insurance okay and shipping bill so this document asked by the bank uh, at the time of uh, at the time of presenting document for the payment okay so it is a, this activity is the second activity and first activity the, for, we have prepared commercial use by the custom clearance. Okay. And uh, now this invoice is prepared for the bank, bank presentation document. Okay. As per asked by the, our buyer. So uh, we can say this is the end to end invoicing. Okay, not only this purpose, but the end to end invoice also involved in the custom auditing service. Okay? So in that case, uh, if we have prepared the commercial noise as per the custom require requirement, okay, then we, there is no problem. But in case of future, if we are facing any problem and customs raise any query, okay, so what, what happened in that case? If custom raise any query, then uh, is the audit purpose, we will, uh, we have to show the documents which we earlier prepared at the time of uh, a shipment dispatch okay so if there is a, any mismatch and any any problem then we have to resolve that query as per requirement okay now the second thing is managing financial support on the cost incur and relevant information is respect uh, information to uh, respective stakeholders stakeholders means finance department or purchase department okay this type of uh, this type of department is a finance. Okay. And uh, other department is a purchase department. 
okay and uh, you can say excise excise department packing uh, sorry production team okay so these are the uh, department which we have to present some uh, internal data like uh, which is a uh, belong to cost incur okay cost incur okay so uh, what is this just like a uh, we are dispatching daily wise shipment okay daily are we dispatching the goods okay for that what we do do uh, we have to prepare export register okay and in that we, we need to <clears throat> need to mention the value of shipment like a, a container number okay and uh, commercial invoice number take okay? and uh, other bl numbers these are we need to mention that okay so a, a value of the shipment also value of the shipment then freight bill freight charges custom clearance charges okay and what are the charges uh, like a transportation charges so these charges are uh, important so what we do maintain we maintain the daily sheet and present to the in uh, stakeholder okay stakeholders means that the department which i share there is a finance purchaser like that so uh, in this point what we have to do we have to prepare the uh, strong our data strongly data like a strong sheet where we can present anybody and anybody can uh, ask regarding the data like uh, how many uh, how many container we have dispatched today okay and the what is the value of the commercial invoice of the today such kind of activity such kind of data need to present in front of some other department so here the meaning of that is we have to take coordinate with the respective stakeholder okay so now uh, now we have complete this 